It's the most powerful rocket NASA's ever built, the modern-day equivalent of the Saturn V that sent humans to the moon during the Apollo era. Half a century later, the new space launch system is on the launch pad in Cape Canaveral, ready to follow in its tracks. At the end of August, it will head to the moon carrying three test dummies, and NASA astronauts back on Earth will be watching closely. The most important part of this whole mission is to make sure that when this capsule hits the Earth, goes into the atmosphere at uh, 11 kilometers per second for your European audience, uh, that the heat shield holds. And then when we have that test point, then we'll be ready to put people on the vehicle. It will be the first flight in NASA's Artemis mission, which aims to send humans into lunar orbit by 2024, with a lunar landing as early as 2025. The astronauts are already getting acclimatized, and even the scientists themselves are marveling at the return of lunar travel. Every now and then I kind of stop and I realize, wow, this is what I'm actually getting to do. I always, I watch Apollo 13, I got to see this on TV and movies, and I'm actually going to be the guy here when we, when we when we like the engines to go around the moon, that is, for, that is really amazing. Named after the mythological god Apollo's twin sister, the Artemis mission is slated to be more diverse. NASA is aiming to accomplish a series of firsts, putting the first woman and first person of color on the moon and ultimately set foot on Mars.